Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, I've had a, quite a few questions here in the last few weeks about hose reels, a lot of people getting ready for next year, wanting to know how to set those up. So I'm going to go over kind of a basic and somewhat in-depth uh, video on how to set up your hose reels, either pressure washing or soft washing. So. Stay tuned for that coming up next. Okay guys, uh, for this video I'm going to use two of the Steel Eagle uh, hose reels that we carry at Doug Rucker store. Dot com. Uh, so we've got one here that is a pressure washing type hose reel. It's it's basically made for pressure washer hose. Um, then we've got one here that's made for soft wash hose, which is going to have a stronger bleach mix going through it than the pressure uh, washing reel. And so what the basic difference is in these two reels is the manifold inside, which is the pipe, that's a little piece of pipe that goes through here from the swivel, brings your water or your fluid in and goes through this little pipe and then it comes up out of here to your hose down to your gun. And so the biggest difference between this reel and this reel is the manifold, the pipe that goes through there that carries the fluid on the soft wash hose. This is stainless steel. And so that's going to be better for strong mix, uh, strong mixes of bleach, 30%, 40%, 50%, whatever you're using for soft washing. So uh, one thing I will tell you though is that even stainless steel manifolds are going to uh, go bad with that strong of a bleach um, going through it. This is why no manufacturer guarantees hose reels or, or swivels or anything like that with the high concentrations of bleach that uh, we put through it. In fact, just about no part or anything that has bleach going through it is warranted or guaranteed. So you need to keep that in mind and uh, if I can remember when your manifold goes bad, I'll show you ways that you can still use the reel, but just use it for storage, which most of us do. A lot of guys buy these uh, reels brand new and they use it for storage only and don't even use the manifold, but um, that's an option that you have to make. Now the tools I'm going to be using um, or that you can use and some of the parts that you'll need, um, open-ended wrenches are good to have, a couple of adjustable wrenches. Uh, needle nose is good mainly because when you first get these, they a lot of times will have these little blue protectors in them. I've already removed this one so I can just pull it out, but sometimes they're in there pretty good. And so you'll have to use a pair of needle nose and what I usually do is just jab it straight in there and then kind of pull it out. Um, but needle nose will definitely help with that. Um, hose clamps, your lock seal, you've got your uh, Teflon tape, you've got your fittings that you're going to need, uh, hex bushings, um, hose barbs, you've got some 45 degree street elbows if you choose to use those, you can use those. Um, there's another one here, stainless, and you've got brass, and I'll show you what those do in a minute. Then you've got uh, a nut driver is always good to have for the hose clamp. Um, <clears throat> And then I'll be using a little piece of Flexilla soft wash hose and then a little whip hose for the hose demonstrations as we put them together. Okay guys, so on these hose reels, just about any brand that you get, whether it's the Steel Eagle like this one, uh, the King's Reels, uh, Hannay, um, Valley Industries, all of them uh, that we carry, uh, they all are going to have some type of swivel. Uh, most of them will have uh, one of these uh, super swivels, which are really good swivels. And this basically is a fitting that uh, 
does what it says it does. It swivels so that the hose will stay in one place. And as you're winding the reel, this doesn't, the hose doesn't, you know, start winding up with it. So it's made to do that. The other part you have here is uh, a little butterfly nut here that is a brake. And so the adjusting your brakes are very important, especially for when you're reeling out, because if they're really loose and you start reeling the hose out, um, it'll cause this to free spin and then your hose will get, you know, just start coming unraveled faster than you want to and create a, a, similar to a bird's nest on a fishing pole when you're your line gets all uh, messed up. Anyway, um, so on the swivel, the parts that you need, these usually always come with half inch female pipe thread fitting. So what you will need, because we're dealing with 3 8 fittings on our hoses, um, and the way I set mine up, I've always talked about the, the plug is my lead fitting so the water is going to be coming into this direction from the pressure washer and it's going to be coming in this direction so i'm going to have a socket or coupler fitting on this swivel but in order to do that because the 3 8 fitting doesn't fit because that's a half inch opening we've got to use a half inch male pipe thread to 3 8 hex reducing bushing. And so you would tape, of course, tape everything up. Guys, I'm not taping anything up here for this video, but just know any fittings like this, you need to Teflon tape and then use the lock seal like I had over there uh, in the video showing you the tools. Here it is right here. Teflon tape, little, little jug of this lock seal. Both of these are available on the store website. So you would put this in Tighten it down with your adjustable wrench or open-ended wrench, whatever you're using. And then this socket, tape it, lock seal it, would go right here, okay? And I'm showing you how I set mine up. And then my whip hose from my machine would come and go into here, okay? Now, the other way you can do this, and some guys will do this, is they'll do what you call hard plummet. And so they'll just take this piece and they'll just hard plumb it into here with no uh, quick connect. I just like the quick connects because if I ever have a problem, it's easy to remove and I don't have to take a wrench on a drop job and try to get this off or, or whatever. So that's a personal preference thing. You can do either way that you want, but I always do mine with quick connects. Anytime I can quick connect something, that's what I try to do. Um, but like I said, some guys will hard plumb this into there. So that's basically how you set the swivel part up. And then of course the other end of this hose is gonna be going to the uh, high pressure outlet fitting on your machine. Okay, so once you've got your swivel plumbed to your machine, the next comes the high pressure hose that's going to uh, feed out to your gun, which is gonna allow you to spray the solution, whatever solution that you're spraying. Again, this is the pressure reel that we're dealing with here. And so you're basically going to do the same type of setup um, that I just did over here using a 3 8 I mean half inch to 3 8 hex bushing and gonna put it in there after again threading it and so since this is water out water's coming out and I use the plug plug points the way the water flow for me then I'm simply putting the plug in here and then on my hose that would have my gun on it, it attaches like this. Okay, so then I can reel the hose up just like that. Now, one thing I will tell you that I did try to always do when I'm reeling the hose up, let me get, I always reel it 
and I always keep all the hose to the left of this. So I never, I never wrap my hose up on top of the uh, neck here for the manifold. So it would just kind of always go and overlap to the top, but stop over here. Okay, just a little hint. That's just the way I do it. All right, again, some guys will hard plumb this here. And so they'll just put it there, tighten it down with a wrench and hard plumb it. Again, I like the quick connects. Main reason I like quick connect here is if I'm doing a parking lot or, or whatever I'm doing and I wanna move my truck or move my trailer, I don't have to roll the reel or the hose all the way up. I can just disconnect it, drop it, move my truck, and then drag my hose over to it, especially if it's like a not too far of a distance. Um, <coughs> just always be aware what you're dragging your hose on because that's going to wear a little bit. But you know, if it's a kind of a short distance that I got, I need to move or whatever. Um, that's one of the reasons I love having uh, dis uh, disconnects. Also, if you blow a hose, it's just much easier to take it off, less time consuming um, when you're getting ready to change it out. So two different ways you can do it with quick connect fittings or you can do it hard plumbing just like that. Now, another thing that a lot of guys will do, and I've done this before, depending on the reel that you get, sometimes these outlet fittings here um, are, will be really down low to the reel. And so it's hard to, it, it crimps the hose or just doesn't help it lay flat. So you can get these 45 street elbows. Um, they also come in 90. Here's a half inch. And then you could reduce this half inch fitting down using your bushing so you could do it that way whichever way is going to fit best and basically what's happening is that's allowing you to um, install this hose and see that won't fit so not going to work on this one this one's up high so you don't have to worry about doing that with this fitting the other way you could do this like some of the King's Reels, some of the uh, Hannay's, I think. There's a couple different brands out there. Titan. Um, if you don't use this 45, you really have a, a difficult problem. But there's the, ha the hex bushing going in, and then that's your 45 degree. So you can see that's causing it to lay straight. But if you can imagine having a uh, this fitting that's coming you know, down out this way, sometimes it helps to have one of these 45 degree fittings. Um, so that's always an option too. I've never had to use them on mine um, simply because mine, I'm not concerned. Uh, the way I plumb mine, that's never been an issue for me because I'm using the Quick Connects, whether I was using the Titans or, or whatever. Um, so the 45 Street Elbows is an option as well. Uh, to help that hose lay flat if you need to do that. So that's the basics, how you set up your pressure hose reel. Next, we'll go over to the soft wash hose reel. Okay, so on the soft wash hose reel, it's basically the same thing. You've got the same connection points. Um, the only difference is you're gonna be using hose barbs for these. If you're using half inch hose, then you're gonna use a half inch male pipe thread fitting by half inch barb. And so it just simply screws into the swivel there and then you would slide your hose over. One thing you always wanna make sure you do is to put a hose clamp on it. Put that hose clamp on first, much easier. And then that hose will slide right over that uh, fitting and you can hose clamp it down. Same thing on the inside of the reel. You're going to use the same exact fitting, so you need two of them. And that's going to go in like that. Put your hose over it, hose clamp it, and riddle it up, and you're good to go. Again, make sure your brake is adjusted so you don't free spin it when it's, when it's coming off. Um, 
this part from the swivel, just like a pressure hose or pressure reel. This is your whip hose that's going to your pump or wherever your discharge is, your manifold, your blend um, system, metering device, whatever you're using, wherever that outlet of your soft wash mix is coming out of, that's where the other end of the hose would go to. Hey guys, don't forget if you're uh, getting some value out of this video, if it's helping you, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, ask a question if I can help you. Also, uh, leave a like, uh, would appreciate it, and share it out if you think it's going to help somebody. Hey, uh, the other thing is if you're using uh, 5 8 hose on your soft wash uh, reel, then you would just need a half inch male pipe thread to 5 8 hose. A lot of guys like to use 5 8 hose because it gives them way more volume. Um, a little more distance sometimes depending on what you're using. We use 5 8 every now and then on the Kingslinger because it will, um, and we've done this on 12 volts too. Uh, it's really kind of a personal preference type thing, I believe. Uh, but we, uh, we use half inch mostly on the Kingslinger just because it's easier to carry around, but there's certain commercial jobs if it's a big job and at some place that we feel like we need to get a lot of solution on a surface um, and flood it, then we'll use that 5 8 hose. We'll change out to use 5 8 hose. But for residential and for the most part, we stick with that half inch and those lower flow, like tw uh, two gallon per minute nozzles, so that we're not wasting uh, our bleach mix and we're not we're not uh, spraying more solution than what's needed for the surface. So you just have to kind of keep that in mind. Most 12 volts, you should always use either three quarter or five eighths hose. Um, that's just what they're rated for. I always used again, half inch. I knew it was always knew it was not the right size, but I just like lugging half inch hose around versus that heavier hose. But again, um, I knew I was gonna have to replace my pumps sooner than normal and I was okay with that based on the volume of business that we were doing and how much hose we had to carry around and getting up on roofs and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, whatever hose size you're going to use here, just remember that all of these uh, hose reel fittings are half inch on the inside so you have to reduce them down to either 3 8 for your pressure hose by using the 3 8 bushing or uh, in the case of the soft wash hose reel like this, then you're just gonna use half inch threaded uh, fitting to whatever size hose barb is gonna connect to your hose, whether it's half inch or five eighths or three quarters or whatever. So uh, keep that in mind. Okay guys, so the last thing is I talked to you about bypassing your uh, manifold when the manifold goes bad and just using the hose reel for storage only. And so if you've got your hose reel set up with your fittings with quick connects, I have the hardest time getting that one in. Okay, so you've got your swivel set up here um, with your quick connect fitting and then you've got your other on the hose reel here. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to take this fitting or this whip hose, a couple different ways you can do it. You can take your whip hose off and then you're going to take this hose off the hose reel and you're just going to join these two. Okay, and so because this is coming from your machine, or you cannot even have a, a whip hose there, you could just run um, a hose from the outlet fitting on the pressure side all the way over and just have it laying and then let it connect it to the pressure, to the pressure hose, or just take the pressure hose over to the outlet fitting of the pressure side right off the unloader and hook it directly up to that and then you're just using this as your storage and so all you're doing is just rolling up the reel uh, rolling up the reel with the hose on it and every time you pull it all the way out 
you just take the end and hook it either to your whip hose directly or uh, to the machine. So you're not using the swivel or the manifold, basically. Um, and we've done that a lot of times on reels when a manifold goes bad or even a swivel goes bad and I'm too lazy to change it pretty quick. We just, we just do it that way. One thing I always teach is it's always best to always unreel all of your hose. Make sure that hose is always straight. You don't want it like this in a driveway or um, you don't want those kind of loops. Get it, get your hose all the way out. Make sure it's always straight because anytime that water is going through loops, that's just putting pressure onto the hose and that's what can cause hoses to prematurely fail or bust or whatever. So if you've got 200 feet of hose and you've only got to use 50 feet, I always recommend that you reel off that whole 200 feet. That's one of the reasons I have electric reels because um, it's easier to roll them all up. But anyway, hey, I hope that's helped you guys some. I basically just wanted to show you the fittings and things that you need to set up your hose reels. Um, don't forget, hit that subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment. And don't forget, we've got an open house coming up November 13th. So if you're in the Houston, Texas area, we'd love to be your Houston, Texas pressure washing and soft washing supply store. So uh, November 13th from 11 to 2, we're going to be barbecuing uh, some pork and serving some pork sandwiches. It's absolutely free to attend. It's just kind of a formal meet and greet type thing. Ask some questions. Uh, Deco, Deco, Ceiling Products, Stephen Churry, and I think Mark Tiliano are going to be here. Uh, we may have some other people, but it's not designed to sell anything to anybody. It's just education um, and answer questions. And if you guys want to see some demos or see some equipment, I'll fire it up. Um, nothing really planned other than just kind of mingle, meet some of your fellow contractors, things like that. Um, get to know our staff a little bit. So. Um, Hopefully we'll see you guys there. Uh, thanks again for watching. Y'all have a very, very blessed rest of your day and the rest of the week. And we'll be talking to you again real soon.